Hey coaches, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Greg King and this is the Greg King Perfect Play Football YouTube channel. I am the creator, founder, lead consultant for the Perfect Play Football system. If you have ever wanted to design your offensive passing game to create it and to be as simple as possible for your quarterback, then this video is for you. It is a simple, high-low read to tell the quarterback, the quarterback will read a defender and it will be a high-low throw or high-low read for your quarterback. Thanks for taking time to watch the video and look at my content. If you like this content, then I have other ways that you can uh, see and get information. Patreon.com uh, is a simple uh, inexpensive way to see videos. I do a video every day. It's about a 15 minute coaching video. Sometimes it is uh, clinic talks. Sometimes it's a game film or game video. Uh, it's different things that we go through and talk about is from the for or from the perspective of offensive coordinators, head coaches, positional coaches, whatever we're working on that day or that series. Also, uh, through the shops portion of the Patreon channel, uh, you can get some of the booklets that I'm in the process of writing up. Also, the um, playbook for the system. Uh, I do booklets or uh, of how to coach every position. All that we have well over 1,500 pages of information that uh, I'm in the process of making available to you and you have over 500 videos that you can go through and look at once again i do one video each day uh, approximately 15 minutes long some are a lot longer uh, 20 or more minutes some are a little bit shorter at you know 11 or 12 minutes uh, but for on average it's 15 minutes or so per video uh, substack.com uh, i'll put all this information down below the video uh, Substack, I do two writings per week of different perspectives of offensive coordinator or head coach uh, or team uh, culture, things like that. Uh, as well as you can look up uh, Facebook. Uh, once again, I'll put all of that stuff uh, information down below. Uh, but uh, last, I want to thank Mike Springston for uh, being my football mentor and my personal uh, mentor and friend. He's meant a lot to me. He is the true creator of the modern day spread offensive system and he exposed me to a lot of these uh, concepts that you see. Uh, one of the greatest things he showed me was how to make the life of a quarterback extremely simple. And one way to do that is to create this simple high-low read and in this picture today all we're going to do is look at the boundary throw and we're going to high-low read this corner right here. That's what we're going to look at, this corner. And, and we're going to put a receiver on top, about 15 uh, to 20 yards downfield. And we're going to put a receiver on the sideline at about 5 to 7 yards. And wherever that corner goes, if he goes deep, we're going to throw short. If he hangs short, we're going to throw deep. This concept was used a few times in this game. Uh, and it was successful every time that it was used. This is a well-designed play, uh, a very simple read on your quarterback, and uh, you can get a lot of mileage over making as much of your passing game a high-low read as possible. And if you go to my Patreon channel, that you'll see a large portion of what I do and teach is based on developing high-low reads and installing high-low reads in your passing system. All right, last thing I want to mention is I need you to bang that bell for notifications, give the video a thumb up, thumbs up, make comments down below, and subscribe to my channel. So let's get into the uh, video itself. We're just going to let it run here and see what we have. First of all, we have a 4-2 box, man-to-man uh, -man type of defense. Okay, middle closed, one safety. He's back here. He bails out of the picture. One safety, middle closed, 4-2 box. Everyone else is manned up. So the corner has the number one receiver. Uh, as we see here, the corner will have number one. We're not going to worry about the field combination. Uh, we're going to work at look at the boundary only because that's what this is all about. The corner has the outside receiver. The slot has the inside receiver. Corner has number one. 
slot uh, the outside linebacker or safety, whatever you want to call them, as the number two receiver. And they're playing man-to-man. Uh, predominantly, they play man-to-man about the entire time. There are situations they'll go middle open and play, uh, you know, kind of a cover four look. Uh, but most of the time, this team is going to win or lose with matching your numbers with man-to-man and creating a big, strong 4-2 box and trying to be physical in the box, defending the run, and then, of course, having tight windows in the passing game. Well, the high-low read is a simple way that you can create bigger windows. For example, this high-low read, the corner goes deep, and so we're going to throw short. It's a boundary throw, five yards deep, basically throw, and we put the ball outside, and we pick up seven or eight yards in the situation. It's second and long here. It looks like it's second and 12, and we end up picking up about uh, a little over half of that. So now we're in about a third and four situation, which is very manageable. This is a simple throw to make. Simple throw. Once again, we read the corner. The corner's deep. We throw short. Later on in the game, the corner recognizes this play. The corner jumps the short route, and then the quarterback throws the corner on top of the uh, of the corner, the corner route on top of the corner, and we get a high-low read once again. But it's a different read. We throw a different route. Simple short throw for your quarterback. Very effective. It should be a high percentage throw for your quarterback. Short throw, hitch. Basically, it's kind of like a little lazy out, if you want to call it that. Uh, We call this kind of high-low combination into the boundary. We call it China, uh, which you get a corner route by the inside receiver and a lazy out by the outside receiver. Uh, you can call it whatever you want to. Lots, lots of people run this simple combination. Once again, it is a high-low read on that defender there, the boundary corner. He's backpedaling out of the picture, so the quarterback is going to throw short. Now, if you go to my Patreon page, you'll see that I spend a lot of time talking about high-low reads, and basically everything I like to do for the quarterback is high-low read. I like to read defenders and not necessarily a progression read such as you know we look at the out the corner the the dig what whatever we're looking at you know we don't want to look at routes and I don't want to go from the boundary side of the formation to the field side I want to limit I want to limit what the quarterback has to look at and see and then have him respond not react but respond to what he sees and activate his feet and deliver the ball. He has to activate his feet first, all right? He has to see it, activate his feet, and then throw the ball. And it's a simple, simple, short, uh, high-efficiency throw and a very high-efficiency play. We go from second and 12 to about third and four. Very, very manageable. Simple play, great concept. And you notice we're doing this from a compressed formation. So we're squeezing both. It's a two by two formation and we're squeezing both the field side, the field side here and the boundary side. Now I've done this by squeezing or compressing the boundary side only and the field side being their regular splits. I've done it with compressing both sides. Uh, You can do this. You may change the routes, but you can do this with without compressing the formation as well just to simply get a high-low read on the corner. Simple as it gets for your quarterback, and he feels good. He completed a pass, and now we're in a, a, it's easier for us to make a call at third and four rather than third and 12. All right, coaches, hope you enjoyed the video. Simple high-low read for your quarterback in this uh, concept that we call China. He is looking at the corner and throwing high low based on the reaction of the corner to the play. The quarterback sees it, he activates his feet, and then he throws the ball. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Check out the Patreon channel, patreon.com slash perfectplayfootball. Also, Substack, perfectplayfootball.substack.com. Please bang that bell for those notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Make comments down below. And thank you for taking time to watch my content. 
I appreciate it very much. And as always, magnify your blessings each and every day.